Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will discuss about the difference between Bigtable and BigQuery. I will also discuss the points that we need to focus for the exam, which is GCP Professional Data Engineer. So let's look into the details. Bigtable and BigQuery, both are database services provided by GCP. Both services handle big data. So here the question is, when should we choose Bigtable and when should we choose BigQuery? So first we can look into Bigtable. Bigtable is a NoSQL white column database, which means Bigtable is not a relational database. It is optimized for low latency. Bigtable is fully managed and highly scalable. Bigtable can handle large volume of data in real time, which means terabytes or even petabytes of data can be handled using Bigtable. So basically if you have a terabytes and petabytes of data and you need to handle their data with a low latency and if you have heavy read and write with your data then Bigtable is a good option. Here in the exam point of view the points that you need to remember are first one is a big data workloads means a terabytes or petabytes of data needs to be handled then Second one is live data with a low latency, then a highly scalable application. These are the points that you need to remember to select big table as the answer. Some of the use cases of a big table are time series data analysis. Big table is well suited for storing and analyzing massive volume of a time series data such as IoT data, then a financial data such as transaction histories and currency exchange rates etc. IoT data management. IoT applications generate vast amount of data from sensors, devices and machines. Big tables scalability and high performance capabilities make it suitable for managing and analyzing IoT data streams. Google also using Bigtable for their core services like Google Maps, Google Analytics, YouTube, so basically Bigtable supports analytical and operational workloads that require scalability and performance with large volume of data. It is capable of processing 6 billion requests per second. So you can use Bigtable with large volume of NoSQL data. Now we can look into BigQuery. BigQuery is also a database service by GCP. It is commonly used to handle large scale data analytics workloads that allows you to store query and analyze large data quickly. So basically if you have a large volume of data and you want to analyze the data to get insight from the data using a dashboard view or something then you can use a BigQuery. So BigQuery is for data analysis. So here is an overview of some key aspects in BigQuery. First one is a serverless architecture. We don't need to manage any infrastructure. Google will handle all the underlying infrastructure. So basically it's serverless architecture. Second one is scalability. BigQuery is built to handle massive data sets ranging from gigabytes to petabytes of data. SQL based queries. BigQuery support SQL for querying data. So basically we can use SQL to query the data. Real time analytics. Users can analyze streaming data in real time using BigQuery's powerful querying capability. So basically BigQuery is a data warehousing solution in GCP for data analysis. Now we can check some of the use cases of BigQuery. First one is data warehousing. For storing and querying large data sets, for analytical and reporting purpose, we can use BigQuery. Log analysis. For analyzing and processing log files for insights and monitoring purpose, we can use BigQuery. BigQuery can also use to analyze data from IoT devices. Customer analytics. Understanding customer behavior and performance to optimize marketing strategies, we can analyze the customer using a BigQuery. For example, we can get information like what is the average number of a transaction per purchase or what are the other products purchased by the customer who purchased a certain product. So we can get this kind of information that will help in business. So if you look into these use cases, you can see uh, one thing in common which is a uh, data analysis. BigQuery is a fully managed and serverless data warehouse solution available in GCP to analyze terabytes of data in a matter of seconds. As you can see in the table, this is the basic difference between BigQuery and Bigtable. So you have to choose the service according to the requirement. So in today's video, we have covered the basic difference between BigQuery and a Bigtable. So that's all about today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.